Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 24th of September. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will see rain and thunderstorms ending tonight. Relatively quiet tomorrow and Saturday. Then by the middle of next week, another push of very cool air. Here we go. This is the upper air look, the ghost of Tropical Storm Beta. A trough is west of the state, the surface low moving in from the west. And that was the radar composite at 158, widespread rain for the Tennessee Valley. And showers over South Alabama, so far nothing severe. Temperatures cool across North Alabama. Coleman 64, Gadsden 65, 70s down to the south. And dew points are creeping up. The dew point at Tuscaloosa is up to 72, kind of watching the instability axis slowly creeping in from the south. We've still got a flash flood watch for the Tennessee Valley and Coleman County through tonight. And again, we have a low-end marginal risk of severe storms, basically from Birmingham south and east uh, for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. As we have the better instability to the south, the better helicity to the north, but there could be a little sweet spot in that part of the state where a few storms try and rotate this evening. So we'll watch them carefully. Again, so far, we've had no issues with that, but there could be an isolated brief tornado in that part of the state through the evening hours. Once the sun goes down, the air stabilizes, the risk will be ending. Then tomorrow, the risk moves on to the east, parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. Also a marginal risk up north, parts of northern Wisconsin and upper Michigan. And day three, Saturday, no severe weather expected across the country. Rain for the next seven days. The Pacific Northwest is wet. And most of what you see here is what's coming down today. Up in the Tennessee Valley, after today, things will be pretty quiet. We'll see a few showers around Sunday and Monday, but uh, not as much rain as we've seen today. And the tropics are nice and quiet. How about that? But keep in mind, hurricane season runs through the end of November. We've still got a ways to go. So, model fans, here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. The ghost of beta northeast of the state. And, again, the deeper moisture pulling off to the east. So, I think tomorrow we'll start the day with morning clouds, the sky becoming partly sunny. Showers should be few and far between. And the high, probably upper 80, I'm sorry, upper 70s, may be touching 80 in spots. Saturday looks pretty quiet. Looks warm and dry, mostly sunny, mid-80s. Chance of a shower, I guess, technically not zero, but awfully small. This is Sunday. Moisture comes back. We'll bring back the chance of scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. High Sunday, low to mid-80s. And then Monday, a front will be approaching from the north and west. So we'll have a chance of showers Monday, not raining all day. And probably we start to cool down, the hike dropping back in the middle 70s. And then Tuesday, we get into a dry slot, sunny and cool. We start the day around 50, the high in the low 70s. Wednesday, we're in dry air. And Thursday, a week from today, October 1st, high amplitude, big ridge in the west, trough in the east. And again, cool, dry air settling in here. Look at the anomalies Thursday of next week. Much of the central and eastern U.S., well below average, downright cold up north in parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. We'll got 10 days, Sunday, October 4th, same idea, western trough, eastern ridge. A front approaching from the north, pushed down by a 1032 millibar high, maybe a band of showers, but again, no sign of any big rain events after what we've dealt with today. Here's the rain from Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. Looks like a bad data spike in there. The mean is about one inch for the next 15 days, and Highs back in the 80s for the weekend, but by the middle and end of next week. Low to mid-70s, lows in the upper 40s out there toward October 2nd, October 3rd. And again, the CPC outlook October 1st through the 7th, showing temperatures way below average here. We wonder if somebody might see some scattered frost over North Alabama for the first time this season during that period. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.